Hey, all right. It's time for Super Beard Bowl Season 3. It's the same, but different. You'll see what I mean. This month, the Beard Bros are trying and reviewing every single item at Taco Bell. One of everything, please. All righty then. The next public vote begins Monday, July 12th, where you choose what we play next. So don't miss it. Everybody, this is Taco Phrase again, and welcome back to the Beer Bros. Eat every item on the Taco Bell menu. That's right. Every item on the Taco Bell menu. This week is Specialty Week Part 1. What do we got? We got the cheese quesadilla, we got the steak quesadilla, and we got the chicken quesadilla. Let's, uh, let's see what the boys think, why don't we? Let's, uh, go right over there. Hey everyone, welcome to Specialty Week, or as I call it, Sweeps Week, because the beer bros are sweeping all over the place. Part 1, this is gonna be a big deal, we're on the specialty item menu. Hi, my name is Brett. I'm still alive somehow. And it's quesadilla day, baby. I'm gonna be trying every item on the specialty menu at Taco Bell. Basically today it's all gonna be quesadillas, so let's see what the hell is up. This might be the day of the reviews where all three items or so are the most alike each other, which probably makes the comparisons between them the easiest. I appreciate that. That's just good science, you know what I mean? The specialty menu is low key one of the best things about Taco Bell, but they have manipulated this menu so much, I have no idea what the fuck is in this thing. So I'm gonna be surprised. You're gonna be surprised. As always, do not worry. We got Bucky. We got Death Star. Let's get to it. Chicken quesadilla. The chicken quesadilla. Now, this is a very nostalgic item for me in high school. We had a Taco Bell stand on our campus and uh, my friend worked at Taco Bell I was too poor at the time to get food, and so he would give me his free meal, which always was the chicken quesadilla, and I loved it. Thank you, Chris. Here we go. Everything that they put in these quesadillas, I don't know what it is. It feels like it changes every time I go to Taco Bell. I think there's rice in it, I think there's meat in it, I think there's cheese in it, and like this weird, like, creamy sauce. So I'm gonna go towards the middle of the quesadilla here for my bite. You know, depending on who you ask, this is like the standard quesadilla. And it already comes pre-perforated for me. Look at that. That is a Perfect little slice of quesadilla. I'm gonna do a double. I'm gonna bend it in half like I always do like this. Take a double bite. It's got chicken and cheese in it and maybe some sort of weird unknown sauce. I don't know. But this is, look at that. That's highly, that is, that is, that is user friendly right there, right? Mm-hmm. Is that the first taste of chicken I've had? No, I had the naked thing. Um, Hands down. One of the tastiest things I've had so far. Surprisingly sweet, and there's like a surprisingly strong American cheese taste in there. I wish I had a better vocabulary. I wanna say that this is dry, but it's not dry. Like it's got moistness to it. <sighs> if the proportions were a little bit different, I think this would be pretty good. The sauce is like weirdly tangy, like mayonnaise tangy, which I don't really think belongs in a quesadilla. This ain't that nacho cheese, right? This ain't that C-H-E-E-Z, C-H-E-E-Z, it ain't that, right? This is actual cheese, and I think what's happening here is that they probably was creamy for about five seconds after they made it, but now it's already congealed again. I think that's what's going on. Uh, so I wish the texture had more creaminess going on inside. It's got a good texture with the cheese and the tortilla. The chicken is fresh. There is some rice in here. And there is some type of quesadilla-esque sauce. As far as the flavor goes, I think, you know, the tortilla is still the same boring old tortilla. I appreciate that it's warm and grilled, I think. And I feel like I wish that the chicken was a little, like, more solid in there, but the taste is good. I like it, and I like how much the tortilla comes through. The burnt tortilla really does, like, add flavor to this quesadilla. <sighs> that being said, uh, the chicken itself, is serviceable. Definitely one of the few items I could probably consume all of. I'll have another bite, here we go. I really wanna put hot sauce on it uh, because that's like really, I think what it's made for is like a vessel for hot sauce, but. Depending on my mood, I could definitely see myself getting this at Taco Bell. Is it the shirt? Is the shirt making me like this food better? This is a pretty good thing. Everything kinda has the same texture, the rice, the cheese. 
Like the fact that the cheese isn't totally melted, I don't know if that's because this, it's not really cheese or what, but because they put rice in there and like stringy chicken, it all kind of like congeals into one good little like tan tasting mass of food that I can get behind. So I'm happy about it. I like it. Cause there's like, the ra- you know me, the ratio of like starch to non-starch here is wonderful. The only thing inside this is chicken and cheese, I think. And so then you, you it's pretty thin, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like I'm gonna die if I eat this thing. That being said, they do give me this much. So, there you go. Steak quesadilla! All right, up next we have the steak quesadilla. Now this is a weird untread territory for me. I love the ground beef at Taco Bell so much, I rarely go for the steak. Here we go. This is the one. I predict that this is the one. This is the same thing, but it's got steak inside, right? Now I imagine this is gonna taste very similar to the one I just had, just with steak. Same thing, right? Pretty unassuming on the outside, right? Um, but I remember it has kind of a weird texture uh, compared to a real steak. So I'm gonna I'm gonna taste this, I'm gonna see what's going on here. All right, let's take a look. I'm gonna give you a nice thick middle section, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's steak in there, check it. Mm-hmm. Mm. This particular quesadilla was not nearly as prepared as the other one. Cheese didn't melt. Yeah, the exact same thing, except for the texture and flavor of the meat, which I appreciate. Have I been, yeah, I already made a mistake down here. Uh, Have I been messing up? Have I been messing up? It's the same thing I said about the chicken quesadilla. Like, I think the beef flavor stands out a little bit more than the chicken just because it's not as tan of a flavor. It's still really weirdly sweet. The meat didn't really taste like meat. It almost, you could, you could have told me it was mushroom and I would have believed you. Should I have been getting quesadillas all this time? Cause they're so, the ratio of ingredients is really nice in these things. But the steak in there, it comes apart almost like, if you know what machaca is, it's like this kind of like dry reconstituted sort of stringy beef. Kind of has that kind of texture, almost like, I don't want to say cat food because that makes it seem like it's bad, but it's like this kind of like, if, if I pressed on it, it would like come apart. And it's not natural like it would be with like slow cooked beef because it's definitely not like good slow cooked beef. I think it's like a product that's like processed beef. But it gives that effect and I like that. And I just wish there was a little bit more steak in it, I think is my feeling on this one. And they're already perforated, like I said. Look, I'm gonna show you the action, right? They give you this, but then you can just do that. That's wonderful. So you can like save a little bit or like share with a friend and you don't feel terrible after. Maybe I should like start adding these to my repertoire. That's terrible. I shouldn't be going to Taco Bell in the first place. Don't really think that's meat. I don't know what it is, but I don't get meat vibes. It should be, but it's not. The steak reminds me of like grade school lunch program meat, which is to say that it's fine at best. There was more steak in it. I would be happier about it. So far, I think the chicken just barely edges this one out. The uh, jury is still out on this one. It still has everything I should like about the quesadilla, which I like in the chicken. Just that meat, that weird meat taste is not 100% what I want it to be. I don't know why, maybe I'm just getting old and I don't like the meat from Taco Bell. This is perfectly even to me between this and the chicken. Like, mm, I can see myself, some days I want that chicken, some days I want that steak. They're perfectly evenly matched. They're like fucking anime rivals, man, with their backs to each other in the fucking intro with the camera spinning around them, you know? Cheese quesadilla. All right, last but not least, we got the cheese quesadilla. I like this one. There's a lot of color on it. It's making me kind of excited about this one. I don't know why this was last. Why didn't I do this first? Why isn't this on the list first of things to try? It's the same thing, but it's just cheese. When you go to a great pizza place, the the best test of a pizza place is just try a cheese slice. And I feel like a cheese quesadilla kind of has that same sort of like classic standard vibe. This is the classic cheese quesadilla. I know exactly what it's gonna taste like. It's gonna taste very similar to the other two I've had so far. I'm interested to see if this tastes any different than like one of the meat ones missing. I wonder if they're gonna do more cheese in it. It's just cheese. How could this be as good? I am hoping this one's a little bit less sweet. I'm hoping that was like a marinade on the meat and not like whatever's in this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Uh, I like the quesadilla sauce they use in these things. It's pretty tasty. Yeah, definitely a lot more texture 
than I was expecting. I feel like the rice, I would rather have more cheese than any rice. The rice, I think, is the weird offender here. It has like a weird flavor. Like without the meat, the rice really comes as the star. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Chicken or steak can't go wrong. Dude, fuck this cheese one. It's inferior. This quesadilla specifically, I don't know if you can tell, in 4K, didn't really, didn't really melt all the way through. There is like a tangy sauce in here, and I like the flavor of the sauce, but I, it's almost like a ghost of the sauce. It feels like somebody put like a little bit on and like spread it on the tortilla, and then it's like getting the essence of it here. Uh, you know what? There are vegetarians out there, but once again, like if I were a vegetarian, it's not like mm, just as good. And I'm a vegan or a vegetarian. Can't do it. This cheese can't do vegan. I don't know about you guys, but I like a melted quesadilla. I almost wish this one would be either a little creamier or like not creamy at all with the sauce. If you're a vegetarian, there's got to be better option than this at, at Taco Bell alone. Still tasty though. I can I can get down this. This is a very easy item to digest. Probably one of the few that will not make me sick at Taco Bell. On the menu, it says V for vegetarian for this one. And I feel like they're just giving you the same proportions that they would give you with one of the meat ones and just taking the meat out, which I think is a little bit disappointing. But like this thing is not like an equivalent. This is inferior. It will be stricken from the face of the earth, hopefully. I hate this. Final thoughts. All right, so that's the quesadillas. I mean, I usually love these quesadillas from Taco Bell. Like I usually get one whenever I go. I really enjoy them. So that's a wrap on specialty week, sweeps week part one. You know, maybe I would rate the beat, the steak one a little higher if there was more steak in it. I don't know if that was like on the people who made today's steak quesadilla or what. I typically, I feel like I would like that steak one more if there was more presence to the steak. The chicken and the beef ones though, it's not that bad. I gotta hurry up and do the rest of these reviews while this shit is still hot because it makes a big fucking difference. If we're going by what I just ate for real, the chicken one was the top one. None of them need to be sweet though. I'm not sure what that's all about. Let's dial back the sugar and the quesadilla because that's like a weird mixture of things going on. If I had to give it to any of them, and look, these three items, the, the cheese quesadilla, the chicken quesadilla, and the steak quesadilla, these are all great. These are probably some of the best items on the menu because it's basic, it's not hard to eat. It's pretty self-explanatory what you're going to eat. Overall, I enjoyed them all. I love them all. And if your if your Taco Bell doesn't come with at least one quesadilla in there, you're probably fucking up. Prepare for my opinion over the course of the next week or so to go down steadily. But chicken and steak quesadillas, I'm impressed. I'm impressed by those. Those are good. Good ratios. They, they put it in like a bag and then you like unfold it out of the bag. That's crazy. I love that. The best is the chicken quesadilla followed by the cheese, then followed by whatever the meat was because that's not meat. Let's be real. Taco Bell meat used to be meat. It ain't meat anymore. They got rid of the see-through packaging they have and they do it this whole new way and I'm just like super like into it. I feel like it's like a little present that I'm unwrapping for myself. So if you love Taco Bell, don't skip a quesadilla. That's essential item ordering. I think I got to go with the chicken though. So that was Special Two Week Part One. A little interesting, a little, uh, little divisive again, but you know what? That's what you get in the territory. So uh, stick around. Next time we will be doing the Special Two Week Part Two. So here we are once again. Bearded men have reached the end. Well, I don't know what comes next. All I know is you made it this far. This is your end card. See you next episode. Hope you enjoyed the show. S U P E R. Beard blows.